Is there any force acting on it? Listen to my question carefully. Are there any forces acting on the ball when it is stationary? If your answer was a no or if you didn't have an answer, it means you don't know the concept of force yet. The answer is yes. There are forces acting on this ball. There is a gravitational force which is trying to pull the ball towards the center of the earth. And the ground is applying an equal force exactly in the opposite direction. This force is called the normal force. Because these two forces are balanced, they do not change the position of an object. The net force acting on the ball is zero. Suppose we've got a ball hanging from the ceiling by a rope. What is keeping the ball from falling to the floor anyways? After all, gravity is acting on the ball, right? Well, it's the rope that's keeping the ball up. So the rope must be applying a force on the ball to prevent it from falling. We call that force the tension force because the rope is being put under tension by the ball. So any force that appears as a result of pulling on a rope, a string, or anything similar to that is called tension. How do things move in real life? Say a ball is moving on a flat ground and there's no external force acting on it. Will the ball eventually come to a halt? Yes, it will. Have you ever wondered why? Say you're skating on an ice rink and your friend is skating on the road. Whose movement do you think will be smoother? Definitely yours. When you hold a bottle in your hand, why doesn't it just slip through and fall? Sometimes when you're walking around in a mall, do you remember seeing a caution sign to warn you about the floor being wet? What explains all this? The answer is friction. The reason why the ball eventually comes to a halt is because of the force of friction. The reason why skating on an ice rink is easier because the force of friction is lesser there. The bottle doesn't slip through because the force of friction between your hand and the bottle doesn't allow it to do so. If the floor is wet, the friction offered by it reduces and there are chances that you might slip and fall. So what is this friction we are talking about? It's quite easy to understand its concept. Friction is nothing but a force. It is the force exerted by a surface where an object moves across it. In the first case, when the ball is moving in this direction, the force of friction is acting in the opposite direction. The force of friction offered by the ice rink floor is lesser than the force of friction offered by the road. Hence, skating on the ice rink is easier and seems effortless. The bottle does not slip down because the surface of your hand offers a friction in the upward direction. And in the case of the floor in the mall, the soapy water reduces the friction offered by the floor. What is force? Let me tell you what you will probably read in your textbooks. Force is a push or pull upon an object, right? Though this cannot be really classified as incorrect, it hardly explains anything about the concept of force. This is what you will assume after reading this definition. You will imagine a stationary object on the ground and someone pushing it or pulling it. Yes, when force is applied, the stationary object will move.